Yeah, so as we create a terrain, you can see we have it before um, influence. So let's go right now and look on some geometry. So by enable geometry, we enable the tab for the geometry. And you notice we have such as the width of geometry, height. We have upset from the Z if it go up. We also have a different type of geometry, tube, road, cobble or ribbon and also twist so twist it's how the top facing it's going to go by the z up or it's can um work again um, with the normals of the terrain so as example let's go switch this to the road okay and i want to increase so it will be a little bit wider we can preview right here and you notice if we switch to the net twist now it's kind of twisting going with the normals so sometimes you maybe want to use it, but most times Z twist will work just fine. You also have it a limits on a twist if you need apply it on a Z, and we can create caps for ends. So it's enabled by default. The height, okay, so let me go ahead and switch uh, materials so we can preview height a little bit better. You can switch materials by accessing, double time click and accessing material editor, or just right click and access to this area or click on a load materials and select materials from um, assets collection so currently I'm just selecting for example red and you can see right here we have it one height we're going to enable height like to 25 meters so you can see how tall it is now and this is also you can apply interesting materials so you can actually build um, side like for bridge or some other intersections so you can have a lot of fun with this building and working with the heights again this is type of the road you can switch on a tube cable or, or the ribbon uh, sometimes what's happening when you work you notice it is going just slightly underground so you can modify by bringing z index up it just raise problem is you will have this futuristic floating road so not necessarily touching the ground so be careful when you work with this otherwise you need to work with the amplitude and with the shape of your terrain and with if you want properly affected so again if we increased width it's kind of spread a bit give it more when you work with road i find out you want just probably about one third more on a width than on a geometry so for example if we have a 25 here you actually probably want about 36 maybe 38 around here so it's look a little bit more natural on the side of the road but again it's up to your creativity and arts next we have an option when we need enable it's an ecosystem effect this way we can populate with a different type of objects or plants along the path. We also can create additional spline and loop it, close it them, so we can populate inside the specific area. Okay, let's look on the ecosystem tab when we enable. We have a stroke, it's mean follow the path. So we can go ahead and enable ecosystem. So let's go ahead, open, and we'll go just add plant to our ecosystem and I'm going to select something um, let's go this one summer cherry tree okay, it's like a second till it's populating adding to our collection notice this is a material okay we'll go click OK okay and now width is a three meters but we set a little bit wider so I'm going set just a bit more okay and we can click and populate so sometimes it's maybe need increase we have a 22 instance it's not enough so we can go inside the density and again don't uh, worry if you don't know how to work with ecosystem and materials we'll look on this right now just overall I want to show you some Property. So we go scaling and we'll go also 
just increase scaling so we can see them. So we'll create quite a big size and a lot of plants. And you can see right here some of plants start appearing along. So let's go pop up dense even more. Okay, we'll click populate. So we'll bring way more plants. And you can see we populated along the path. Again, right now it's not up to scale. This is just a principle how we can go uh, putting around. Okay, we can also show as a ribbon or just use transparent currently. Um, in some areas we want to populate on the side so we can um, interact this. For example, right here you can see cut out existing ecosystem or populate with object or specific so we can actually go and create this ribbon way wider okay and we can cut out and we can select terrain for example how much we want it so we can go over this way and move it slightly on a side so if you notice it's kind of moving on a side road so you can interact between um, splines between road and put it just the plants along the road along the side of the road so this is how we'll do it uh, also let's look on a field populated on this effect for this one I'm going to create a new spline and I'm going to just select like right here area and I want to click and loop it so I want to close that one Next, I want populate, but I want populate with a field populate with ecosystem inside. So I'm going to open and I'm going to load plants. So we'll have the same one. We'll take a density, pop up and density high, and we'll just increase size. So we'll have many of them. So right now, if we click populate, you notice it's populated inside this area. So it's kind of very useful because we can always take some of the plants via adjusting or if you're using some other tools and again we can go populate and you see right now we change our population so you can create patches of the plants in specific areas and constrain them by using the uh, splines Beside that, you can have its splines go up in the air and add a meta cloud so you can create different tornadoes. You can have it a multiple effect overall. Think about this. This is a 3D virtual lines that you can place it anywhere and enable population with echo object or with any other ones related to this. Okay, so right here we'll look on a fill with this. Okay, if we select different spline. You'll notice right here we can remove fill, but we have it our stroke which is going along the road with the effect of a different like a terrains or um, road so we can move remove it. So right here let's go set zero on this and we have it supplying two. So we'll go to erase hundred percent. Okay. So let's populate it. Should kind of remove it, but it will put it right on side so we can do that way as well and also we have ability to align object along the spline um, so we can rotate and this is apply if you want to have it like border for example on the side of the road maybe or rocks or some sign road sign with um, angle and variety we can modify them and put it along or according to the path in a right direction. Um, if you don't want to use it, any of the properties, you can just click and unselect. It will remove it, some of those properties. And of course, if you need it back, you can just re-enable, which is will bring back your original settings, what it was before. So it does not um, erase them, but it will disable them for the time of use. We will work a little bit more with the splines later on when we will creating a river tutorial. So we'll kind of start using this a little bit more in the practice. For now, just 
you know, right here we have it options and we look on some properties of this appliance. 